So we humans are very complicated. From birth, we're all fed these labels, these names that we're meant to refer to one another by. We're taught to believe that they're true. We try to fight them, but eventually we all end up swallowing them, digesting their meaning and accepting their value. As an example, my name is Maya, which means great in Latin, truth in Japanese. It's the name of a Hindu god and is the daughter of the Greek Titan Atlas. It's the national bird of the Philippines and is the name of an advanced ancient civilization. However, the name that I feel is most important for this talk is the Sanskrit translation, which means illusion. The thing about the word illusion is that it's truly hard to grasp or believe. It's funny to see how people grapple with the difficulty of placing me into these little boxes, especially when they hear my name, look at the color of my hair, my skin. For seconds there, they're confused, curious. They're unable to quickly place me in one of society's groups or give me a label. These assumptions, stereotypes, labels, and the need to classify are all just illusions. Yet, they carry so much meaning. With all this in mind, I began to question the difference between respect and prejudice, and the impact that labeling everyone with these various names and labels truly has on our personal identities. I believe that everyone deserves respect, which to me is practicing non-judgment. Because without respect for each other's differences, with assumptions and stereotypes, our personal identities become illusions, difficult to grasp. My name is part of my identity, and my identity tells my story. However, when people feel the need to classify me, I begin to question my identity. I want people to know the real me, the story of a young girl with countless aspirations, one that wants to savor every moment and take pictures of everything, someone that loves learning about herself as she plays parts with others, someone that loves her family, her friends, and just wanted to be treated like everyone else. However, as a young girl, one question haunted me, steering my thoughts and staining my innocence. What if people perceive me counter to my true identity? Preconceptions and stereotypes have falsely painted humans as terrorists, colonizers, or superficials, painting a name that doesn't belong upon people that are just different. Are people painting a name on me that doesn't belong, something that does not fit with my identity? For example, a survey was conducted on the subject of religions and terrorism. The results of the experiment illuminate so many of the illusions that we make concrete. About three-fourths of the survey's population believe that Christians that commit acts of crime are not actually Christian. However, what surprised me was that only half of the same people believe that Muslims that commit acts of crime are not actually Muslim. What this brought to my attention was the prejudice that surrounds religion. In this case, the double standard about Islam truly bothered and disturbed me as a Muslim. I remember a couple of years ago, my family and I decided to take a trip to Thailand. Before we went on that trip, I was so excited. Couldn't wait to meet all these new people, go to these cultural museums, and experience and learn about life in a new culture. I even have a picture riding an elephant and one beside a baby tiger. At the time, I thought these activities were amazing. Scary amazing. Likely unethical towards the animals, but I didn't realize that at the time. I remember on our first day there, my cousins and I were sitting at the beach eating nine, which is this really good Thai chips. Not long after, we saw a group of men and women walk towards my mother and her friend. They seemed fascinated with her hijab. I'm not exactly sure what they were motioning towards or what point they were trying to make. But what I can say is that I, my cousins, my mother and her friend, all felt as though they were making assumptions, labels and generalizations. What did the hijab mean to them that day? Even at my younger age, I realized that I lost some innocence about society. I realized that the physicality of the hijab was going to be much more than just an illusion of prejudice or labels. If so, what did they think of me? To them, would I always be that little girl that's part of an oppressed family? Would they ever see me the way that I see myself? A girl with countless aspirations. Well, I've grown up since then. I see and I witness prejudice towards Islam in the news, in movies, and even towards my family. But remember at the beginning of my talk when I told you that my favorite meaning of my name was the word illusion? Well, here's the thing about illusions. When you know where to look, you can never be blind to them again. I observe prejudice all the time now. The illusion of ignorance is long gone. The illusion of innocence is long gone. The picture my mother wanted to paint for my brother and I, the society she wanted us to grow up in, 
a society that respects each other's differences and discounts prejudice. That illusion has only unraveled further since then. However, not all is gone. When confronted with the situation, my mother could have done the easiest thing possible at the time. However, giving up a piece of her identity, completely unraveling her kids' mindsets by unraveling her hijab, Meanwhile, turning my world upside down, making me believe that we have no choice but to abide by the pressures of society. Or she could have stood up for what she believes in, which is what she did. Not given to the negative thoughts that emerge when we hear the words Muslim or see someone wearing the hijab. To me, this trip was a critical event in my life. I became aware of all the assumptions, labels, and names that were fed. Who knows? Maybe we too have become hyper aware of prejudice towards Islam, the hijab that some give a sideways glance and jump to conclusions. Maybe we too are too quick to judge. Here's the thing about prejudice though. It's a learned trait. How can we unlearn it? How can we develop respect for each other as our greatest social endeavor? Well, despite our diverse beliefs, we're all human. We should never allow one's differences, religion, culture, race, or gender to define them. After all, they're all merely illusions. Thank you.